Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tyler with TarverAcademy.com. I'm so excited you're here to learn with us. Uh, today we're talking about Google Groups, and we want to know how to create a Google Group. So, um, as I'm clicking over here to the groups, uh, if you could please uh, subscribe to this channel, that'd be great. You can find links, help, tutorials later. So, um, today, uh, to go to Google Groups, you just go to Groups google.com like most things within Google so you can enter it's gonna take you to your groups um, and right there off the off the bat in red it says create group so I'm gonna click that I can name my group we'll call this second period it's gonna automatically generate an email address for me second period at tarvercanning.com I can change that to second period or I can just cut it down to two two at tarvercanning.com I can do whatever I want as the title of it uh, group description, um, second period geometry class. I can choose the primary language. I can go down to the group type. Um, is this mainly for email lists? Do I want a web forum where somebody can come Q&A forum? People can ask me questions. It's good for parents if you want them to ask questions about your class um, or a collaborative index. So I'm just gonna keep an email list. That's what most people do with groups. Um, and then here I can go into the basic permissions. Uh, what are all users allowed to do? They're able to see the topics, see the posts, and join the group. Um, you can choose who can join. Um, it's, I'd run out anyone in the organization. Let's say we want to do anyone in the, um, anyone can ask, let's say, only invited users. That way I'm inviting the people to the group. Make sure I hit create, and boom. I can go ahead and invite people, customize my group settings, or add a topic. I'm gonna go ahead and invite somebody. Let's invite me from my other email address so let's send that in oh and smiley face invitation message this will be sent to them on the invite and verify no it's only configured so i have to change that later but there we go within your school your organization you'll be able to add people within your organization um, it's a safety procedure so there's my first period second period classes and i can look and see those also i can go in and type an email so if I want to type one for my second period class, I just hit two, it's automatically going to bring it up. I can send out emails. This would be good for like uh, parents, if you wanted to invite parents into this, because now with Google Classroom, you can uh, pretty much create these groups and do these emails through Google Classroom. But it's a good one for parents of different classes or of all of your classes. Okay, so there we go. Thank you guys, I hope this helped. Uh, if you could please hit the red subscribe button, that'd be great. Um, and I'm glad I could hopefully help you get a little closer to continuing to be the hero in your classroom. See you guys later. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. What, you want me to come train you on Google? No, okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources, so. Thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure, but if you want to, I'll be here. Just gonna wait right here. Look at this lighting, wow.